The goal of this phony, fake, and fraudulent resolution is just to somehow provide cover for extreme MAGA Republicans to try to undermine an agenda that is designed to lift up the health, safety, and well-being of the American people. Why do we know this? Because going all the way back to the days of FDR, through Harry Truman, into President Kennedy, through President Johnson, all the way up until President Clinton and President Obama and President Biden. They've called things like Social Security, Socialism, Medicare, Socialism. Stream MAGA Republicans have called Public Education, Socialism, Medicaid, Socialism, the Affordable Care Act, Socialism, the American Rescue Plan, Socialism. So the American people should not be fooled by anything that takes place on the floor today with respect to this so-called resolution on socialism. That was an incredible speech by the leader of the Democratic Party, Hakeem Jeffries, and he's absolutely correct because he has the GOP pinned down. This is pointless. I mean, condemning socialism means nothing. There are actual issues going on that the GOP could be trying to address with this newfound power, but they're not doing that. So I really agree with Hakeem Jeffries' speech there. There's one little problem, though. After making that speech, can you guess how he voted? He voted with the GOP, who he just condemned, to condemn socialism. <laughs> Got him. That'll, sh that'll show him. Now, if you're wondering, man, this sucks. I really miss the days where Nancy Pelosi was the leader. Oh, don't you worry. She voted to condemn socialism, too. In fact, this resolution, which, again, is pointless, passed overwhelmingly 328 to 86, in large part due to the support of 109 Democrats, while 14 voted present. Now, here's the full list. And some of these names really aren't very surprising. I mean, Adam Schiff also voted to condemn socialism. But here's some votes that, I, I mean, I, I'm not necessarily surprised by them, but these individuals, in theory, shouldn't be going along with the GOP here. This includes Ruben Gallego, who is running as a progressive populist against Kirsten Sinema for Arizona Senate seat. Ro Khanna, who was literally a co-chair for a Democratic Socialist presidential campaign. Eric Swalwell, who purports to be progressive and does all of these huge grandstanding speeches. Lucy McBeth, Ted Lieu. Those so-called progressives voted with the rest of the Democratic Party to condemn socialism, which, again, as Hakeem Jeffries pointed out, is pointless because we don't have socialism in the United States. There are some public policies that, you know, the Republican Party claims are socialism, Social Security and whatnot. But that isn't the economic system that we have. Workers do not own the means of production. And if we're going to condemn any economic system, when's the vote to condemn capitalism? I mean, they talked about the horrors of socialism in the lead up to this vote. Um, what about the horrors of capitalism? Not only is the body count for capitalism much higher than socialism, but capitalism has led to the destruction of our entire planet and threatens the survival of the human species. But let's condemn socialism. See, this is why fascism in the United States is continuing to grow. Because the Democratic Party, they keep getting played by Republicans. Now, Kevin McCarthy immediately after this vote was conducted and said, wow, only 100 Democrats voted to uh, condemn socialism with us. But understand that these Democrats who were trying to not give Republicans any ammunition played right into their hand. Because to even vote affirmatively for this, you are agreeing that socialism should be condemned when it should not. 
We're not anywhere close to being a socialist country. So the fact that you are going with them, you're buying into their premise. And what makes it so much worse is the fact that Hakeem Jeffries is bright enough to understand exactly what they're doing. This is pointless. It's phony. But then you vote with them. You, you can't, it's almost hilarious. You can't condemn them for holding this phony vote and then going along with the phony vote because you are complicit. You're part of the problem there. So I commend the Democrats who did not vote to uh, condemn socialism because socialism is good. But either way, all of this is completely pointless. And to accept their premise really says a lot about the Democratic Party. But I mean, if you've been paying attention, this party is completely spineless and pathetic. And because we have just incompetent leaders like Hakeem Jeffries, this is why fascism grows, because they're running roughshod over you all, right? This is why they are continuing to monopolize discourse. This is, I think, the perfect example that demonstrates it, because you know that they're holding a phony vote, but you go along with them anyway. This is how they set the agenda. This is how they elevate the salience of issues that aren't actually issues. Like, we're learning firsthand the way that they are able to control political discourse, but Democrats let them do it. They play into their hands every single time. So it's uh, it's frustrating, but this is one of two major parties, and um, this is what they do. That's very bad, Republicans. This vote is very phony, and then they go along with it. And it'd be one thing if, like, some members were doing that, but leadership is doing it. Were you acting like a...